the most beneficial ones for getting started is a template function, but it's not only good for those who are getting started, it's helpful for being able to organize um, a template that you want to use again. Now, one of the ways that you can access templates is to find the bottom left-hand corner, you can see there's a something called a template center. And you can see from here, I've actually gone ahead in the past and created some templates from scratch, which I can reuse, quick use them, and I can see all of the amazing template gallery that is available in ClickUp. So one of the things I want to demonstrate to start is how you can actually use some of the templates that are a part of this gallery. Then I want to show you how you can save a template that you may like and replicate in with your team. So let's go on to community. You can see that these are all the featured ones. Now you may have something in mind. I want to be able to use, say, the document function inside of ClickUp because I'm trying to create a document that the team can be able to coordinate. And in particular, I want it to be about the company's structure and how we got started. So a little bit of an outliner to how we created the company in, in the start. So one of the things you could do is start with a employee handbook. Now, what's great is you can actually go into this and see what templates are included, what pages are included in the template. Um, and you can see from the preview a, a good idea of what um, this is is including this and you can actually add it to a library as part of your account but in this case I'm going to use this template now very simply I can get started saying welcome pack and I can replicate it into the area that I find most suitable so if I press use template you can see that it automatically creates this and I can start building out this from well not from scratch but from a good start starting point so that everyone knows where everything is in terms of company culture onboarding, workplace policies, and things like that. Now, if I click into here, you can see that I can just fill in the information, use the pre-built page structure, and that's really helpful from day one to customize it to the, the team that I'm working with. So that could be really helpful for just getting started, and I've replicated it inside of my account. Now, if I want to, say I really like this video production structure, and I wanna be able to organize it a bit further, in terms of like, okay, um, you know, what am I working on? Um, what is important to the team? Then what I might wanna do is I might wanna copy it. So I can go over to here to templates and you can see that I wanna save this as a template. I can update an existing template. So basically just refreshing the other one. But if I go to save as new template, I can choose the parameters around which I save it. So in this case, I might call it video editing and I might select that everyone including guests gets access and I can customize what's included in there, which is really granular in terms of um, in terms of having all of that, but I can import everything if I want to. I can actually choose not to have certain tasks, but I can choose to have the views only, which could be quite helpful for getting started. Now, I could add a description. Descriptions are pretty helpful when it comes to making sure all you and your team know what this template is before you copy it, and you can even include tags too. So if I press save, you can see that in the background, it's gonna take a few moments just to be able to create this template from scratch. But if I go over into my template gallery, you should be able to see that it's now copied in. And you can see here that I could even add a preview to it. And it shows me what status groups have been brought in, what custom fields have been brought in and what view types I can use. And I can go ahead and press use template. It's as simple as that. If I made any modifications to this, dramatic modifications to the structure of it, um, then what I could do is I could go ahead and uh, if I right click on the list settings, then I can go to templates and update existing one, select this and basically just refresh any of the information and update it, which is very helpful if a team member's made dramatic improvements to it and you want to be able to replicate it further. Or if I have automations or tasks, I can modify that inside of the upload abilities there. Anyway, folks, hopefully you found this helpful in terms of templates functionality and being able to use it inside of ClickUp.